up you guys well welcome back to the crafty kitchen it has been a while since i've done a cooking video sorry about that hopefully we'll get back into the groove of doing those especially with the new truck coming because i'll tell you what i am very excited to do some cooking videos in that new truck with the bigger space be on the lookout for that today i'm going to show you how to make chaffles i posted this on our instagram a week or so ago they've been out for a while i don't know why it took me so long to find them but they are an awesome low carb option they're super easy and I wanted to show you how easy these are to make on a truck no matter what size sleeper you have even if you have just a stock standard sleeper you can make these things they're awesome so there are so many variations on how you can make them you can make them savory you can make them sweet there's all kinds of way to, ways to make them. I'm gonna show you just a simple, easy way how I've been making them. You can look up on Pinterest, you can Google chaffles, you can look on Instagram. They're all over the place right now. But this is like our new favorite thing. I do not miss bread whatsoever being on the keto, low carb, way of eating but I do miss sandwiches and this is a really good option it's easy and yeah we just love them so let me show you what you're gonna need to make these this is something you don't necessarily need is a mini waffle maker now I picked this up online at Target Target does sell them in stores if you can find them Amazon also sells them the great thing about this is it's super small look how tiny this is it's like a four inch surface and it's the perfect size to make a sandwich, a hamburger, I mean whatever you want to make with your chaffles. It's super cute. It's like 10 bucks. It's the perfect size for a truck. It doesn't take up a lot of room. But they make all kinds of mini waffle makers. You don't, this is a dash one. You don't need to particularly get that. You can actually even use a full size waffle maker if you wanted to do that. The reason that these are so easy, the way I make them, it only takes three ingredients. All we're gonna be using is almond flour, grated cheese, and an egg, and then whatever seasonings you like. So easy. Let me get my waffle maker plugged in and we'll get to mixing up the ingredients and show you how to make these. I got the waffle maker plugged in and heating up. It takes about a minute to heat up. It's really quick. While that's heating up, I am going to mix up our ingredients. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need one egg. And what I like to do is I like to mix up my egg before I add my cheese and almond flour. So just scramble that up. The only seasonings I'm going to use, I'm going to use some of this everything but the bagel. You can get this at Trader Joe's. It's got a really good flavor. And you can put as much seasonings and whatever seasonings you like. I'm not measuring this. And then I'm going to use a little bit of all season salt. Once I have my seasonings, I'm going to put in about a quarter cup of shredded cheese. This is just a Monterey Jack cheese, and I'm not measuring it with a cup. I'm just going to eyeball it. Jump that right in with the egg. The last ingredient we're going to use is almond flour. I'm going to use one tablespoon of almond flour. Dump that right in with our egg mixture. Once you have all the ingredients in there, I'm just gonna take my fork and mix all of that together. Get it nice and blended. This mixture is going to make two chaffles. So you've got one for each side of a sandwich, basically like two slices of bread, right? <laughs> all right, so that's pretty good well and mixed. Our waffle maker is all heated up and ready to go. The light has gone out, so I know it's ready. I'm gonna use just some coconut oil spray and just lightly spray both sides of the waffle maker just to help it not stick. A key thing with this is you wanna put it on a paper plate or a plate just because you may have some runoff and you don't want that to get all over your counter. So just using a small paper plate works really well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just add half of this mixture into the waffle maker. And you can just eyeball it. You don't wanna overfill it because if you overfill it, that's when you're gonna get the runoff on the sides. So I just pour some in and kind of move it around with my fork until it's all the way covering the bottom. 
then we're gonna close that up and I'm gonna set a timer I have found for us I let them cook for about four to four and a half minutes and that's the perfect doneness that we like one thing with these chuffles when you first take them out they're gonna be a little bit more pliable but as they sit, they do um, harden up. They don't get real hard, but they harden up to make them more easier to use like for sandwiches. Let's let this cook and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's been four, a little over four minutes, and we're gonna see what we got. Ooh, look at that, yummy. So I'm just gonna take my tongs, and I'm gonna take that out, and this is already pretty firm, but I'm gonna let this sit and cool off, and as it cools, it's gonna firm up even more. While that's cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the rest of our batter in to make the other half of our sandwich. And I don't respray the waffle maker. I only spray it the one time. Get all that egg and stuff in there. And just kind of spread it around again. And as you see, I didn't have any run over on the last one and I shouldn't on this one either. The only way that that happens usually is if you get it too much or overfill it. We're gonna let this one cook another four minutes and we'll show you the finished product. All right, y'all, so I have my truffles done. So let me show you, this one's already pretty much cooled. Look at how firm that is. It's not hard, but it's like the perfect type bread consistency. If you make these, you don't even have to use the almond flour like I did. You can use just the egg and cheese. The almond flour just gives it a little bit more of a bread texture. But these things are so amazing. I'm just gonna make me a simple sandwich with these today. I'm gonna put some lunch meat and cheese on it, and that's it. I mean, how easy is that <laughs> to make? What, what other things have you done with I that? have made, so far I've made egg sandwiches where I fried an egg and put bacon with it. I've just made lunch meat sandwiches like I'm gonna do today. I wanna do a BLTs with them. I mean, there's so many things you can do with these guys, like I said. You could, you could actually have uh, waffles, couldn't you? Yeah, I mean, you could, if you got some low carb syrup, which I have gotten, I haven't tried it yet. But yeah, you could make waffles, you know, add some low carb syrup, some butter, uh, make a sausage McGriddle. That's what I want to try next is um, I've got some sausage, put sausage, egg, and a little bit of syrup and should probably be like the McDonald's McGriddles. Oh my gosh, but low carb and better for you? Right. How awesome is that? Right. But yeah, guys, look on um, Pinterest, Google it instagram there's so many options you can make with these i think next thing i want to try too is a sweet version where you can add you know like chocolate chips you use mozzarella cheese for the sweet versions so many so many options and when i do that i'll share it probably on instagram some pictures of when i make that and maybe we'll do another video showing a sweet way to make these i'm sure a lot of you may have already tried this if you have leave it comments down below and share your recipes with me because again this is our new favorite low carb thing and i think if you haven't tried it you really need to try it. And if you do, come back in the comments and let me know how you like it. Again, the mini waffle maker, it's awesome. It's the perfect size for the truck. It's not, it doesn't take up a lot of room at all and it's easy to clean. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.